Hi there, this is Art and Such with my Rainbow Loom tutorial for Peter Cottontail. For this pattern, you're going to need lots of white bands, some red, some pink, and a hook and holding hook. I'm going to be using a couple of goggly eye, bead, googly eye beads, and I'll be threading those on using some dental floss. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. And I'm also going to put a couple of beads on for the buttons. If you have actual small red buttons, those will look really, really cool. And if you don't have beads, you can leave that part out uh, or buttons. And if you want to do the eyes a different way, you can certainly use a pony bead or black bands or another alternative method. We are going to have our, hook, uh, our loom in the offset configuration. We'll be needing a couple of C-clips along the way. And I'm just going to give you a heads up now. This is a challenging pattern. It took me two hours to design and I'm still thinking of some ways to improve this as we go. We're going to do bit by bit. Um, I might ask you to pause and do some parts by yourself, but I think we'll probably just do everything together. We're going to start with the ears. And for that, get your white and pink bands ready. Come to the loom. And we are going to take a single white band and come from the top center to the second peg down in the center. From there, take two white bands from the second center to the second side. And I'm choosing the side furthest away from me. And then we're going to be switching to double pink bands and coming down one, two, three, four, five times on the side furthest from you. Try to use bands that are not too stretched out, that are kind of new. Uh, you'll want to use the stretched out bands for our doubled over ones and also we want everything to be nice and tight. We're going to come down the center starting at the second peg down, two, three, four, five times, again with double pink bands. And from here, we'll need a doubled over single white. Take it, stretch it, twist it, put it across your seventh peg down in the center and to your seventh peg down on the side, twist and bring it back around. We wanna try and get that super, super tight. Next, we're gonna need some holding bands. And we are going to be doubling these over so that they're nice and tight. So take a single pink, stretch, twist, bring it over. This would go, this is going across your third peg down on the far side and your third and fourth pegs down in the, fourth pegs down in the center. Another one, double it over. This will go on the fifth peg down in the center and the fourth and fifth pegs on the side. And we're going to make another one beneath. This can actually go under the white. So I'm just going to slip this under here. Or you can pop your white off for a minute to get it on. There we go. Now we're going to make a couple of chains. And each chain will have five links on it. So we're going to take a single white band. Wrap it on the hook one and two times. You can do it three if you want it a little extra tight. Pull it onto five sets of double white bands. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to find the first band that we wrapped, it should be right at the bottom of your chain. Try and separate it, open the loop, and those bands are going to go onto the seventh peg down on the side furthest from you. And stretch up the bands that are on your hook, put them onto the second peg down on that outside row. Take your hook and reach into each of the chains below, 
take a single loop out and put it onto the, the peg that's closest to it. This helps keep the ear nice and tight together. Trying to get that last piece. Okay, we're going to make a similar chain for the opposite side. Well, an identical chain really. Single wrapped. One, two, three, or two if you want to make it a little easier. And onto five sets of double white bands. Two, three, four, and five. Now on this one, you're gonna take the bottom piece of the chain and put that onto your seventh peg down in the middle row where your pink ended. And I'm gonna stretch this out on the inside here and bring the bands that are on the hook onto the second peg down in the center. And once more, we'll connect a piece of each chain to each of the pegs that are in between. It just occurred to me, we're gonna have to do this another time. Okay, well, we're almost done the first round here. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the bottom two pinks in that center row. Take your hook, point the opal part up and away from you. Push back everything but the bottom two pinks. And you can use your fingers or your hook to move them to a more visible place, a more accessible place. Grab your next two and bring them forward. Grab your next two and bring them forward. Push back that pink holding band. Grab the next one and bring it forward. And before we do the next part, we're actually gonna take off the top of the chain. That's the four white loops. Pull it to the side. Loop up from the third peg down in the center to the fourth peg, sorry, to the second peg down in the center. I'm looking this like upside down. And then replace your whites. Okay, make sure we get those all there. This one wants to come off. All right, we're gonna go to the outside row. And I'll show you again, you have a set of pinks coming down the bottom. And these are the ones you're gonna be grabbing. So turn your loom to whatever angle allows you to see them the best. Get your bottom two pinks, bring them forward. Next ones, loop forward. Watch out for your holding band, push back at the bottom two, bring them forward. Come up one more time. And then we're gonna take off those white bands. You can put them on a holding hook if you want. Loop up your pinks. And then loop back in. Sorry, or I should say replace the whites. And then you can loop inwards from there. Making sure we get all of these. And from the second peg down to the second peg down in the center, we're bringing those two inwards. Reach into that second peg down for the bottom two white, or sorry, the bottom one white. And we're gonna bring that through very carefully here. Doesn't want to go. Hold on to the bands on your top center peg and the rest of your ear can now be released from the loom. We have one more step to do with the ear and then we'll make the second one. I'm gonna get my holding hook ready in just a minute. And when you feel that your ear's a little bit loose, you can put your hook through the bands on the top center peg or the band, pull it out. And I'm gonna put this onto a hook and show you the last step for the ear, which is optional. But you can see, and uh, this one hardly even needs it. Um, yeah, so I had more of a problem with it the first time. I don't know why it's okay here. But if you feel that you're, that there's too much pink showing up on the side, if you want this side to be your front, this actually came out really nice this time. Uh, but if you're looking and you want this to be your front and you see there's too much pink or too much pink on the bottom here, what you can do is put your hook through the whites on the top on either side, 
pull two whites through. I'll give you this as an option. Um, anyway, it does make it look a little bit neater. Again, if um, if you've got some of those pinks showing up where you don't want them to. Because I know my ears that I did the first time, it looked came out just a little different, although I did the same thing. You would put one side over the other and move it to the back. Okay, so that's just if you feel that there's too much pink showing. Okay, so let's make our second ear. We'll do it the same way and then we'll put it on the holding hook as well. If you'd like to pause and do this yourself, you can, or you can stay with me. Go a little faster this time, single white coming down. And let's get out our pattern again. Double whites, second peg to second peg. Five sets of double pinks coming down on each row. bands next. Just gonna hold it up for you to see here. So the first triangle kind of points out and, this, um, and that point is on the third peg down. The next one points in and then we've got one more that points out that has the, the single corner pointing out. I need another white. See if I can find one that's a little bit stretchy already. We're gonna do that double over, bring it across, twist, double back over, and then we can add our side extensions here, a single wrapped two to three times onto five sets of double white bands. And uh, just a little side note here, I will try my very, very best to keep everything on camera, but I've got a bit of glare and reflection here so I I'm really trying to keep my hand in here but if I'm off for a minute just please be patient I'll get refocused for you just as fast as I can five bottom section goes on to that seventh peg down I'm trying to get all of them and stretch it up to the second peg down Take a piece from each part of the chain to go onto each of the pegs. Is that a plane or a lawnmower right here? Can't tell it's something engine-y. Sounds like a plane. We're actually not too, too far from an airport. So sometimes we get those going by. Okay, other side. Single wraps, pulled onto five sets of doubles. Attach that on the center row. loop up again starting with the bottom two pinks on the center row Do you know I think the ears took me about four times to meet before I could find a method that I liked let's take those whites off and we'll bring up the last pinks there Put the white bands back on. The face, which I'm, I might try a couple different things in this video, or at least one other thing. I think I'd like to try and make it a little rounder, but the face took a good four times too. So, hopefully we can get this even a touch 
closer to the actual Peter Cotton tail. At any rate, I have done my best and I will continue to do so and we'll see what we get at the end here. Okay, replace those white, yee, don't slip off my hook. Replace those white bands on the top or second peg down on the side. Loop inwards once, side to center and loop up the last one. Okay. We're gonna ease some of these off of the loom. Very careful with your doubled over bottom band there. If you've got weak bands or a weak loom, that's where you're gonna have problems. And if you're having a terrible time with it, you can always keep it a little bit looser and use your hook to secure it better with a C-clip later. But ideally you'll do your double and triple looping and everything here as we go. Let's take her off. Careful, careful. Okay. And if you want to adjust and again, Pinch this top part a little closer together with a couple extra whites you can. If you feel you're happy with it, then put this onto your holding hook and we're going to move on to the legs. I think the legs are a little, little bit easier actually because we don't have as many things to do. We're going to use white on the legs. Hmm. I thought I took a picture of my modified whatnot. Okay, let me just do a quick count here. We're gonna do two red bands coming down from the top side to the second side, and then three, four, four sets of, how do we do this? No, we did do this like so. Okay, I remember now. We are gonna take a doubled over single white band. Our feet are gonna be white. Tops side to second side then we'll come down one two three four five sets of double white bands from the second side to the third center two white bands so it's going to come down diagonally and then four sets of double white bands down the center row. I believe, hmm, I can't tell from my picture here because I did change this up a little bit. I think we did double bands. From your seventh side to your seventh center, and then uh, looks like we did do a holding band, <clears throat> securing band, single band on the seventh side. Loop one, two, three, or four times. We'll put on some holding bands. Let me check really, really quickly. I believe we are going to double. We were going to double these over again to keep the feet nice and tight. If I've got some bands that are a little stretchy here to use. Okay, uh, doubled over single, second, third and fourth on the side and over the fourth in the center. It's a triangle that points inwards. The next one is going to be pointing out. We'll go on to the next opposite set below. And I think we just left the bottom, bottom one blank, but let me have a really quick look. Yeah, and you don't have to put a holding band here, it's okay. We are ready to loop up. Let's make sure you got a good view of this on the camera. Okay, so we're gonna go to that seventh peg down on the side, get under the cap band, take the two bands that are beneath that and bring them back to the center seventh peg. Go back into that cap band, take your two and bring them forward. You can loop up the inside, push back until you get to the bottom two, loop those forward and loop up three more times, staying inside the holding bands. 
third peg center to the second peg side and then go back down to that sixth peg down on the side and loop up the rest of the way to the top of the loom. And once you have this a little bit loosened, you can take it off and put your hook, you'll do that by putting your hook through the bands on the top side peg. Or band, it's a doubled over single. Remove, and our leg has, mm -mm, let's just check that, two, three, four, four sets of double white bands. So that's two bands together, one time, two, three, and four, and we will need one set of double red. And then you can put this on your holding hook or a different holding hook. And we'll go to the next part, which is the second leg. Okay, here we go. Single white down the, oh, single doubled over white down the side. I'm getting my pieces confused. I've done so many of them today. Five sets of double white bands. So two down on each of these next ones. to the center, second side peg to the third center peg, double bands, and four sets of white coming down from there, double bands. Connect the bottom of your two rows with two whites, put on a cap. One, Two, three. We'll need some of our doubled over holding bands. Stretch, twist, double it over, make your triangle, points inwards. The next one goes below and points out. And we can loop this up under the cap band. Take the two that are below that and bring them to the inside. Take the next set and bring it up once. Then we'll loop to the top in that center row, going for your bottom two bands only and watching out for holding bands. Loop into the side and back to that sixth peg down on the side to loop and loop forward until you reach the top. I'm very pleased this is going very smoothly so far ease off some tension and then we can remove this from the loom. Okay, and we had four sets of double white bands. It's one, two, three, four, and two reds. Put this onto your holding hook with the other pieces and I guess we'll do, we can do our arms next. This one's, this one's got a lot of pieces to it. Um, but after we, after we get through the arms, most of the rest of this will be on the loom. Okay, let's take a single bound, wrap it one, two, three times. Pull it onto a doubled over single. This is going to look a little bit like Mickey Mouse hands. Repeat that three times. Three. And of course you can have, um, have your Peter have only three fingers or have longer fingers. This is what we're making here. But you can, can even just take two bands and wrap them together if you want to. Uh, use that for the hands if this is too much. Oops, that one unwrapped there. In total, I'm going to be making four of these and then we'll put them together. So 
So now we take a doubled over single, bring it through all the bands, or all of, all of these fingers, I should say, that we've made. And just before we replace, take a single, well, I'll show you this, I'll show you the easier way first. Replace, take a single, wrap it on the end one, two, three times, and then pull one, hand, one side of the hand over. And this makes it um, so that you don't have a big gap here. From here, we're gonna need five sets of double white bands. Slide it through and try and keep in or these in order. Good to have finger, um, long fingernails for this part. You can see I have three here where there should be two over there. And we know we've got the right ones because this is sliding. And now four more sets of double white. This part's the this part's pretty easy. One, two, and we'll have a total of five then. Now you can put this on your holding hook or you can leave it here because we'll be using it soon. I'll put it on the holding hook just so you can see what I'm doing a little better as I start on the next arm. So fingers again, single wrap, one, two, three, pull onto a doubled over single, repeat three more times. My poor white bounds are going to get so stretched out with us, but I can still use them for another project later. I don't always keep my my um, demo ones because I've got the original and honestly they're just taking up storage space in a box right now. But I like I like my little collection of rubber figurines and mostly I just really like the challenge of making these in the first place. Doubled over single, pull it through all the fingers. Now you can use the method I showed you before or if you want a shortcut, hold this here. Take a single, wrap it on one, two, three times, and then replace. And that will save you one step by placing it, getting it in the middle to begin with. Take two, push all of those bands over very carefully. You don't want to take off the two that you've got there. And replace. And five sets of, you say five sets, I think that's what we said. Uh, so that was one, so we need four more sets of double bands. It's two, three, four, and five. And come on over to that loom. We're gonna start on the face and the body. Okay. So we're going to start with a couple of white, come down top center to the top right with two white bands and to the other side. I, I've got to apologize now I actually, um, I think I did get off camera a little bit there with my, uh, with the hat when we were doing the hat, so sorry about that. It's, like I said, a little hard to, to angle it just with the lighting I've got right now, but uh, hopefully from my description you were able to, to see what I was doing there. So we're gonna come down in the center two times, three times, with double white bands. And on the sides, three times, two times. Hold on, we'll get, we'll get this here. I'll show you in just a minute. Now, if you want the face to be a little longer, you can add an extra set of white on each of the rows. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try to make the I'm going to try to make the face a little bit rounder at the bottom. You know what? We are going to I am going to try an extra row, and if this doesn't work out, then so we'll be doing the video this part of the video again. But we're going to take a chance. So four sets of double bands in the center, three on either side. 
we just might find that the mouth is sitting a little higher as well. Okay. Two white bands, fourth side to fifth center. I hope this works because I don't want to do this whole thing again, but uh, we're going to try it. Two whites from the fifth center to the fifth side. Repeat towards the other side. And we're going to be switching to red and we're going to come down once with um, one, two, three, four, five, six times with double red on either side. And don't do the center just yet because we need to add a couple other things. white bands starting at that fifth peg down going to the sixth peg we're gonna put down two red bands to the next going to the next peg and then one red band and if you are adding beads then at this point you would take your beads or buttons you can use I'll show you how to do it with um, with the hook first and then I'll show you how to do it with floss so if you've got beads with a large hole you can put the bead on put your band on, slide the bead over, and then transfer that onto the sixth to seventh pegs down. We're gonna do this for the next button, single red. And if you did have a bead with a smaller hole, what you could do is put some floss through it, or a needle and thread. Put it through your red band, come back over and back through and pull it on if it was just um, a little too small to get on the hook there. And from there we're gonna need two more sets of double red bands. Okay, let's get the arms and we're gonna put them onto the fifth pegs down on either side. Transfer the bands from your hook. Take them off of your holding hook for the other arm. Now you can add your legs or your ears first. Um, either way is okay. Your legs, you're gonna take the red band and stretch it from the third peg from the bottom on the side to the third peg from the bottom on the center. That's my phone, I'll have to check that later. Like so. And the other leg just goes on the other side and also connects in the middle. a cat band on the center single band just make sure everything's kind of layered nicely there press it down and single wrap one two three I know some people like to do that part on the hook and then transfer it so if that's easier for you you can certainly do that I'm gonna put the ears on make sure the point that the face you want facing up is facing towards you put the bands onto this top side peg do the same for the other side This one's slipping. I have to grab it. There. Okay, let me do this next part very carefully and methodically so we get everything. We can do our holding bands next for the body. Single reds. The first one will make a triangle across your six pegs down. And we're going to repeat across the seventh pegs. The eighth. Don't worry too much about your beads. And the fourth one and we'll do one more. We're gonna do a side extension and this is a little bit round. So what I'm gonna try and do, I think, is actually leave a little tail here and we'll see how that goes. Take a single band, wrap it one, two, three times. If that's too tight, you could just wrap it twice. And we're gonna take that and put it onto two bands three bands, or sorry, another two bands. 
that's two sets. And let me do a really quick count here how many we need. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's five that we're going to have. But I'm going to do one extra one. So this will be three, four, five, and six. Take the bottom of your chain, put it onto the third peg from the bottom on the side. Trying to make sure I get all of those loops on. I'm going to use my hook to help me here for a minute. And take the bounds that are on the hook, put them onto, let's see, onto your sex, sixth peg down on the side. So it's the second of your pegs that has red on it. And we're gonna connect the bands one piece at a time going down, but we're not gonna connect the bottom most link. So there should be a little bit extra here with the idea and I'm hoping that that will square this out just a little bit. Repeat, single wrap three times, two if you want, and six sets of double bounds. The bottom part will go onto that third peg from the bottom on this side. this nice and tight so it's going to be a little challenging but there we go connect it on that peg that's under the arm and working your way downwards take one piece out of each chain to put onto the pegs in the center now I would like to loom up the body and then we'll work on the face in just a minute so we're going to go to the third peg from the bottom on the center you're going to find the two bands that are coming from the far side. Get under the cat band and grab those. So you might want to use your, your hands or hook to pull them to the side. Go back in for the next two and they're going to go around to the side closest to you. And the last ones are going to go up. We can actually loop forward in the center now until we get to the white band. So when you get to the sixth peg down, you can stop there just for a minute. And we'll come down to the side and we're gonna loop up the bottom reds. Push back everything above. Carefully grab and loop it forward until we get to the arm. get your bottom two and loop those inwards. Opposite side, get your bottom two and loop up until you reach the arm. Push back your holding bands and your chain extension link pieces. Just take the bottom two, push everything else out of the way. And loop inwards, bottom two white. And loop up from the sixth peg to the fifth sixth peg down to the fifth peg down your whites then you can loosen up the body and then in just a minute we'll start on the face and we're actually almost done this and we have only one part to add on when we finish like once we get it off the loom I mean okay don't take it off past the seventh peg down because we want to uh, we want to keep those whites on nice and secure. Go. And now at this point, or later on if you want to wait, you can push your beads under and up and through. So 
This might actually be easier to do after, but now I want to do it. Okay, well, I'll get that out when, once it's off of the loom. It'll be just one second and we'll continue with the... Okay, so let's put on some holding bands, white bands, across your second pegs down, across your third pegs down, and across your fourth pegs down. We're going to take that top one off actually just for a second because we need to put some eyes on. Grab your floss if you got, and your beads or your bands. We're going to get both of them onto a band. This is the same method we used for the buttons. Except that this time we're going to do two pieces at once. So I'm sliding my floss through both. Or you could put your hook through both. And then it's going to go onto the band. So through, back, over, and through. Back, over, and through. Give it a pinch, pull it on, and this will go from your second peg down on the, oops, on the side to the second peg down on the other side. I'm actually going to put this on now because I'm worried this is going to slide off if I let it go any further. Well done. Slide. And there. Give that a little twist back. Move the eyes to where we want them. Twisted back around. Just a second, sorry guys, these googlies are a little bit funny to work with sometimes. Okay, separate your eyes, whatever kind of eyes you've used. Take the band, put it over the second peg down in the center. Now I did play around with a few different ideas for the nose and the mouth. We're going to make it this way again, but as I said, I have made the face a little longer, so I'm hoping that will um, give us a better effect now. We're going to come towards the bottom of the loom, and we are going to take six white bands and put them from the third peg from the bottom of the loom to the second peg from the bottom of the loom. Do the same thing on the other side. This is five. And in the center, we're going to come down with three from the second peg from the bottom to the third peg from the bottom, and we'll have another three coming in from the second peg from the bottom on each side to the bottom most peg in the center. Just got really cold in here. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do the nose, whether you're using a bead or a band. What I did here is, I'll show you this method first. I took three red bands, wrapped them one, two, th or three times, and pulled them onto a doubled over white single, and then put the white single on here, um, transferred it onto that bottom most center band. I'm kind of thinking I wanna try something a little different here. And if this doesn't work, then I'll pause the video here and I get started again. I'm going to put this on straight as a cat band and we'll see what happens. One and two. Let's have a really fast look at my picture um, of my design there. Mm -mm. Okay, and um, we're going to loop this up. So go under the red, find your next three bands. And they're going to go to the side closest to you. I'm going to take them a couple at a time, I think, just because this is very busy and I want to make sure I get the right ones. You can, again, as I say, use your fingers, use your hook, um, angle it, whatever you need to do to get the right ones. Take your next three over to the side furthest from you. And the last three will go up. And then very carefully, you're going to loop up the six that are on the side. You can take them a couple at a time if that's easier for you. Not me, I'm going to do it the fool's way. There we go. Push it down a little bit and other side, grab all six, bring them forward. And when you're feeling ready, 
take a little tension off there. You can put your hooks through the bands on the far side, top to bottom, carefully remove. Through the bands on the center, top to bottom, carefully remove. And through the last set. And this can go on to a single band. Careful, careful, careful. Bring it all the way through. This is going to be the top of the mouth. We'll put that. Now you can sort of choose here. If you want it to sit right, right under the eyes, as I did here, you can put it on the same pegs, the second pegs down that the eyes are on. I'm going to try putting it a little bit lower. Um, I'll try and get both of these into the thumbnail if there's a significant difference, and then you'll see the one on the right will have this effect and the one on the left will be my original, so you can compare and decide what you like better. And like I said, if this flops, then I'll just redo the part of the video and it's all mood anyway. We're gonna come down with two bands on either side, third peg from the bottom to second peg from the bottom, two bands in the middle, oops, something broke, second from the bottom to bottom bottom, two bands in, and two bands in. You can make this thicker if you want and use three on each of these. This is gonna be for the bottom part of the mouth. And cap band one, two, three times. And loop it up. It's exactly what we just did, except we only have two bands on each of these sets. So two to the side closest to you, two to the side furthest from you, and then we're gonna loop up on each of those rows. your hook through top to bottom side center side remove put onto a single white and again you can decide you can put it on the same peg that has the top of the mouth or you can put it on the lower peg and have it sit a little lower I'm gonna put it on to the third pegs down where I've got the mouth and hopefully that will sit nicely here Okay, we're good for time, we're good for battery, we're still on camera, we're still in view. Go to the fifth peg down in the center, and this is going to be tricky, but we need to find the two bands on the side furthest from you. Nope, the side closest to you are the ones on top, it looks like. I'm going to pull those out a little so I can see them better. Push up everything that's on top of that so that I can grab those two bands. This is going to be a hard part, I won't lie to you. So I just slide it around until you get it and bring those to the side closest to you. Go in for the next two, which should be a little easier. And then we're going to move the mouth out of the way while we loop up once in the center. Bring the mouth back down under. And let's loop up on the sides. Oh, before we do, we're going to put um, a little a little extension, actually, a little chain. Single wrapped, one, two, three. I'm glad I caught that in time. And we're going to do a chain of double bands. So let's go one, two, three, four. Let me measure this up and see where that takes us to. do five. We might have to add one more, but we'll start it at five and see how that goes. Okay, cat band goes on to your fourth peg down on the side. Right, make sure we get all of those again. You could, I think you could even do an extra one if you wanted to. I'm going to go to the second the second link up so there's one little section and then the second one I'm going to take a piece and pull it over that third peg from the top and then we'll take one from the next section so I'm hoping as I said that this will give us a little more of a rounding which is what we're trying to get here other side and I've already forgotten how many we said there it was five I believe um, 
too. I'll check that in just a minute. that has the ears. Find that second section up from um, the cap band and put that on and then one from the next to put on. I'm so crossing my fingers here that this gives us what we want and um, it's a step up from the original. Now we can loop up the sides, bottom two bands. Next two, we've got a little tension here so be careful your time pause the video if you want loop into the center and I better make sure I've got the right two bands because I feel a lot more pulled there than there should be and we're gonna loop up on the other side and we're almost done as I said there is one thing for us to do once we've got our Benny off the loom but it's not a not a tricky thing. It won't take too long. And then let's come back down in the center row. We're gonna go to that fourth peg down. I'm gonna bring the nose out of the way here so I can get into that fourth peg down and loop up the bottom two. Then we'll bring the nose back over. And then we can loop straight up two more times. Push back the bound with the eyes. Take a single white or two if you want something extra secure and get it ready. With your right hand you're going to take your hook, put the open part, face the open part away from you and push your hook through all the bounds on the top center peg. Grab that securing bound, keep some tension on and as you pull it through turn your hook so that the open part faces up. And then you can put the other side on. We'll take one side over the other and over the top of the hook to create a slip knot. From here we need to very carefully, while holding on to that slip knot, take the bands off of the hook. Off of the loom, I mean. With the hook. There we go. Ooh, this is looking good. So far so okay. So far so okay. Okay. Careful around the neck there. Let's take off the rest of the body. Oh, much better. Push your eyes through a little bit. Press the nose down the way that you want. And let me get that securing band out of the way before we go on. We're gonna turn to the back. Go under a nearby band or two. Put your securing band on the hook and slide it under. And this will go onto a C-clip. You know, I liked, I did like um, the beads that I used in the first version better, but I didn't have any more of them, so unfortunately, I think that one's going to be the scrapper this time. This is the one that I think came out better. Now from here, it should be a little bit easier to separate your bands and press your bead through. Should be. These are pretty big beads I'm working with here. Ah, I don't want to go. I might have to use my hook in a minute. Anyway, the last thing that I'm going to show you is how to do the kind of yellow and red collar thing. There we go. So you can adjust the buttons there, press them to the front. And the very last thing is this yellow and red collar. I'm going to do this a little more slowly because I really want to focus on staying on camera for you. And I know when I'm working with my hands and my hook, it gets a little harder to see. So I'm going to get um, two sets of double red with a yellow handy and one extra red band and a C-club. We're going to take the hook and go through from the back to the front so that the hook comes out just where the white collar neck piece starts. And we want to take our reds and our yellow pull them to the back. So put them on the hook and slide them to the back. 
and I'm gonna take my red and pull it through those bands. Or actually, let's do one more thing first. Let's, let me do it and then I'll show you. Okay, so I pulled it through to the back. It's on the hook. And then the piece that's on the front, I'm gonna reach it over the shoulder and put that onto the hook as well. And then we can take our red band and pull it through all of those. And you can put that on a C-clip or on a hook. I'm gonna put it on a C-clip for the moment just to simplify things. We're gonna do something similar for the other side. Let's make sure I've got this on snugly. Okay, so take our other red, yellow, red. You can see I'm sandwiching the yellow in the middle as best I can. It's okay if it doesn't quite go. As you see, the pieces move around of their own volition anyway, but we do want to try to keep the yellows more central. So this time we're going to go through from the front to the back, grab those bands, slide them through, bring them over the shoulder and collect the other piece. And we are going to take that red band off of the hook, just one side of it off of the C-clip I should say and slide it under our new bands like under the ones that are on the hook and then put that onto the C-clip okay all right let's give everything a little adjustment you can turn their feet out a bit to the side I see I've got a couple of loose bands here and I don't like that so I'm going to do a really quick tightening. I'm going to pull those in a little bit and put them onto a C-clip in just a second and then we'll wrap this up. There, that's not so bad. Okay, so let me go under a nearby band and just cinch that in. You can do this with any loose bands you encounter. Go under a nearby band, pop it on a C-club, but hopefully everything's nice and tight under already. Okay, let me hold up the camera, and here is our finished product. I would love to see how yours came out, um, and thank you so much for watching, and thank you for the request. I believe this was from Sabrina Jarrell. Alright guys, take care.